Oh my friends, welcome back to Star Trek New Horizons. Uh, for, of course, version 2.2.4 of Stellaris. Uh, I'm really going to enjoy this one. I've been, uh, actually, this is the third attempt of me making the series. I keep on butchering names, but you all know me, right? I will do that all the time. So, we're going to be playing as a Federation. I got everything for the Federation. Federation UI, sub mod, main mod. Not the music, because that will destroy me if I upload it to YouTube. So, we're going to be starting a new game here uh, as, the, as these guys. So... The United Earth has been, uh, is a planetary state created through the unification of Earth following the first contact with the Vulcans in 2063. The headquarters based in Paris, the uh, United Earth government maintains control over all the solar system. Through, the, um, through with recent advance to Starfleet and the Warp 5 complex, there has been a large push towards the expansion of the United Earth interests. So, we're going into space, uh, in, in, of course, the latest version, I'm really excited about that, we're going to play it as it is, um, if you, like, start the game, it, it's about this, F destroy, destroy victory, we, yeah, I don't like that, I do like to have more habitable planets, maybe two and a half, and uh, difficulty is going to be Grand Admiral, scaling is off, usually I play it with on, however, this is the first time playing on Grand Admiral for my channel, so uh, I'm excited about that. So these are going to be it. Let's start with a play. Oh, what a magnificent screenshot. That is so nice. That looks so good. Anyways, guys, if you are new to my channel or a recent visitor, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this type of contact if you're into that. Uh, because uh, contact, content. Leave a like to this content if you are into Stellaris and stuff like that. So it, it gives me a bit of a guiding on where to go with my channel. Let's see, I will be reading a lot. And I'm very much dyslectic, so yeah, I will misread things. And you can try helping me in the comment section. Uh, but if you really want to teach me how to pronounce things... Then um, join the Discord community, and the link is in the description as well as on my YouTube channel, to the Global Gamers. It's a, it's a, it's a small community run by, um, by me and three of my friends, um, and, and some of them are YouTubers as well. And I will join in a voice chat, and you can teach me all about English. How about that? How about that? Anyways, the Spectre of War followed humanity for centuries. Uh, culminating in the Third World War in 2053. Emerging from this post, um, atomic horror, the people of Earth struggled to survive until the scientist, Zephyrin Cochrane, uh, successfully drew the attention of the focused science vessel, Tapana Huff. A decade later, following almost a century of Vulcan patronage, the people of Earth are ready to take first step into the great unknown. To seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no one has gone before. And the great words of Jean-Luc Picard are the potential to make yourself a better man. That is what it is to be human. To make yourself more than you are. And and, and this is so strong. That's really strong. I, I absolutely love that. Uh, but it looks like we got some research going on still in... Uh, <laughs> whoa. There's stars in the core? Oh, that's so nice. That is really nice. Um, got the Vulcans over here. Diplomacy has failed. Is this correct? No, diplomacy hasn't failed, you weird ass Vulcan. Um, let's take a quick 24 out of 24. I think my economy is going to be a bit of a suffer. How much would I need? Um, 300 for the district, huh? Yeah. Uh, 300, 300. Uh, Mars. Uh, we're going to work Mars, definitely. Um, uh, um, I want to see if I can make it like 100% or so. But till then, we'll, uh, we'll just see. But we'll have to provide them with work as well. How about research? Um, outpost. Outpost building cost negative 10. Ooh, both of the are very nice. This will definitely cost us less. That's definitely a good thing. 
Uh, colony ship, definitely. Armor hit points, process Dilithium. Next day, Thrusters. Ooh. I. Look. Unlocks a building. This is very nice, but I don't think we want to go there right away. Planetary shield generators or this specialization technology. Uh, let's go for the specialization technology. Um, let's take a quick look at my leaders. Uh, we got a government, a governor uh, that is uh, not on his place. Uh, careful. Mm. Yeah, they're not too interesting right now. So let's at least make sure that the governor is sitting there and then that's going to be sorted out. Um, planetaries and sectors create vassals. I don't think that's what we want to be doing. So this is what I'm going to aim to do. So we got a scientist, right? And he is going to be exploring, not surveying right away, because I think that first thing we want to be sure that there are planets in the vicinity that we could potentially colonize. I think that's the uh, the best part of Stellaris colonization. Uh, let's head over towards the Vulcans. Now, what we will do, let's unpause here, is we're going to get a second science ship. And that second science ship, let's speed up a tiny bit is um, going to be sure oh we appreciate it thank you um that we oh my god let me talk you vulcan um is going to be sure that he is going to be surveying systems that have planets in them uh, first and then we can expand uh, towards that because I, I i don't like the fact that we can fall behind in colonization you can see already it's pajam and eridani from the vulcan so it's already Two planets against my one, and 28 pops against my 30, apparently. Oh, we have two planets as well, but they got two systems and planets. Hmm, okay. So, they keep sending me the stuff, that's great, let's be sure we be friends, we're going to be cuddly with the Vulcans. Sounds amazing. So, before doing anything, how many do we need? Okay, so we are like, we don't need minerals. That's great. But we need dilithium. How much do we pr make? We have some raw dilithium. Apparently we don't process much. Actually, we're not processing anything, which is a tiny bit weird because we do have this refinery. So, there's five jobs. That, that, let's see, what do you do? Um, negative five in production. Process dilithium and raw dilithium. So we're not processing the dilithium. That could be bad. That could be bad, I think. Uh, if I were to replace this thing, what is in here that would benefit us? Apart from Unity. Unity always benefits you. Uh, Recruit Academy. That's interesting. Commodore Jobs. Cool. We're not going to replace it. That would really screw our uh, economy over. Understood. Thank you. And there we go. We're now making full processed uh, dilithium. I was worried that it wasn't working of some sort. That would be quite weird. Um, okay. Do we have enough? 163 is what we need. Is there anything we want to be changing? Perhaps some policies. Liberation, precision strike, resettlement. These are the best that we can have. We don't have all the policies just yet. Mm, unity. Population. Ooh! Birth clinics? Focus the healthcare system to increase the welfare of the offspring to promote the growth of the population. Every healthcare job will produce an additional 5%. Do we have healthcare jobs available? Mm, I don't know if they're just like doctors. I don't think we have the people for that. Population growth speed. Actually, this is what we're looking for. It's a plus 10. 
So it's 5 from each or how do we see it? From buildings is 10, from population jobs is 20. So more doctors would increase the um, population growth. So the medical, Starfleet medical plus 20 in population growth. Okay, cool. Doctor jobs. We could actually do that with the, um, by going for this one. That would give us another 10. Animities. This just does science. Science is really important. Let me know in the comment sections if we should change this early on to like birth clinics. As well for the education policy. We could maybe... Oh, no. Um, it's, it's either unity or resources, trade value. I don't think we want to change that right away. Uh, gender right? Yeah, well, uh, we're all about equality, right? Come on, this is the united planet Earth. Let's build a scientist ship. Mm, let's see if there's some new leaders now. Do we have anything else? No. Ah, I don't really like that. We got you. We got you. Carefree. Surveying speed is negative 10. That would be horrible. Look, the discovery ch and, and the chance the, it is really nice. We already have someone that's carefree. Complete. Oh boy, he's here. We need to pick. Oh, I wish it would change right now. It didn't. Oh well, let's just get this guy. Maybe once he levels up, he isn't that bad. Did we discover any planets? No. To what I know from my previous games, this is um, Alpha Centauri. So we're going to send you in there and just survey. Um, Earth, 24 out of 24, you are definitely lacking jobs. What is this? Regional Academy? Rehabil uh, rehabilitation and Education. I think Planetary Unification is going to be most important for now. Uh, Mars. Mars, my, my good friend. Let's make a few buildings. Because we need more minerals and we need definitely more energy. Oh, excited. I can't wait. The NX project is most likely going to be popping up very soon. Um, we got some... I want to wait for 300 to get that additional district going. Habitable Worlds, we know it's just a generic uh, event from Stellaris. Look at them. They're already extending. They haven't built all of it. Yeah. That's a thing as well, of course. They got some alloy in there. That's really nice. We haven't found anything here, huh? Mm. Okay, so you're moving up there. Propulse. We were doing, like... Yeah, the next stage thruster. So, the uh, the vessels will be uh, faster. Okay, we got three planetoids in here, which are most likely not going to do us any good. As well as a military station. That could be interesting. Don't remember this one, though. Oh, well, we'll see what will happen, right? Um, let's build this uh, energy district, and then we're going to be focusing a tiny bit more on stations. And we'll see. Is there anything else I want to be doing? Policies we looked at. Um, edicts. Research grant. Research speed by 5. That's nice. Unity. Um, we need to get some factions going, actually. That would really help us out. Like, uh, happiness plus 10 for first contact. Nah, I don't know. Uh, but these other one, these are uh, really nice. Unity plus 15. Construction, complete. Construction has been completed, that's nice. There we go, the annex project, meaning we need to start saving up for 500. Next job, 500. So, I will be reading all of it. And I will be raping names, because I am very much dyslectic. You have to bear with me. Don't hold it against me, it is not something I can do anything about. I, trust me, I've been reading this one 15 times and I still mess it up. It's just how it goes. So, the NX project, the uh, United Earth's ambitious plan to create a Warp 5 vessel, struggling. The original version of, uh, of Zephyr and Coverage, 
Cochrane, which began in 2119 with the foundation of the new faster than light research complex in Bozeman, Montana, is now several decades old, and yet most of humanity's ships still crawl between the stars at warp 2. Admiral Maxwell Forrest stares with distaste at the Vulcan Ambassador Sovol. Earlier today he was in, um, elated with the news of the successful launch of the earliest prototype of the NX project. Now it seems that uh, his day was become worse. Now it, and now it seems his day has become worse. With all due respect, Ambassador, Earth has a fleet now. Our Warp 4 engine has recently installed on the USS Franklin and the Admiral began before being cut off. It, uh, it was less than a decade ago when your commander Robinson almost lost his life because of the uh, reckless pursuit, Admiral. We simply advise caution, Soval intoned. We still feel the NX project should be suspended, not forever, but for a few more years. I'll pass your suggestion to the Prime Minister Nathan Samuel. Okay, so we're going to be saving up minerals there. Uh, like I said, if you want to be uh, teaching me a bit more English, then um, I wish you good luck, but you can join the Discord community. I'm, I'm always there. Always there. Uh, episode length, by the way, 20 minutes. Uh, playing, of course, on Grand Admiral. Things will be a bit slow early on, and they will pick up, because I don't want to go too fast. Mainly, you can already see there's a bit of lag, and I would like to um, invest in a better graphic card eventually. I'm still working like the 970 uh, GTX. Hmm. Discovery Frontier uh, Population growth for my immigration is plus 5 That would like that, it, That's actually quite nice Trade protection Border friction negative 25 Home territory fire rate plus 25 And ship building speed That's really nice uh, Additional building cost Orbital bombardment, surveying speed. Oh man, well, that's already the discovery thing already all over all of the traditions. Need a cap. Crime. Tower blockers. Terraforming cost. Hmm. Habitability increased by five. Federation staff. Yeah, let's just go for discovery. First off, right away, it's research speed and we want to go into Anomaly Discovery Chance, Monthly Unity and Surveying Speed first and then looking into the output or perhaps even the leader game. Maybe not even finish this one completely before going off to Frontier. It kind of, def <sighs> kind of depends on how long it would take us to find a planet that we could actually colonize, right? Construction ship. We are saving up to 500, because that's the most important thing we could do. Let's see, what are you doing? So you're being built, that's rather nice. You got one pop to go until you're full. Population growth is quite, quite slow. Process the lithium is already changing. That is not a good sign. The refinery is quite nice. So what do we have on this planet? You would say... There's nothing in there. Okay, well, nothing. Comet sided! A small celestial orbit. Ah, uh, this, this is nothing new. We gained some unity. Great. Let's go. Construction ship, come on. Get to the 500 before the pop-up of the NX project because that is so annoying. Understood, Q. Thank you. Uh, what do we got? Research completed. Monthly unity diplomacy. Diplomatic influence cost is... Ooh. Oh, that could really work. I think that's really important. Even though the, the unity is also important. Let's go for it. Because this, this might help in... Um, in the consumed influence there. 
research agreement, uh, commercial pact, and non-aggression pact. That will uh, unity is going to be our Achilles heel early on. Um, defensive pact. Yeah, great. Failed. Thank you. That would even bring it up even more. There you go. Zero point seven five. Uh, earlier on, having all of the defensive things it might not be the best solution for us. But we'll just have to uh, bear with it for now. Oh my god, here we go. Accelerate project is 500. We actually have it. Okay, here we go. So the NX project, it uh, has been a long road. Two years after the successful test flight of the NX Zeta, Earth is celebrating laying the keel of the very first Warp 5 vessel. Starfleet's first true flagship. The NX Light Cruiser Class Enterprise. But while technology has progr um, progressed at a neck breaking speed, realizing the dreams of scientists such as Archer, um, Tesaki, and Cochrane. So, Archer is probably like from the Star Trek uh, Enterprise series. I didn't know he was a scientist. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of stuck in this series. I, I, I don't know if I want to continue watching it or. It's so rough. It's so rough. Uh, at least, um, though, the Vulcans continue to warn humanity that it is not ready for the perils that face them in deep space. Their polit polit uh, political pressure can be felt throughout the industrial sector on Earth. The project resources are quickly dwelling. And many employees of the Warp 5 complex have been reassigned to different projects. While the Earth hall floats proudly in uh, when the oh, wow the Earth how 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 could I manage that while the Enterprise hull floats proudly in space dock, in truth it is but an empty shell. Analysts and military strat strategists are forced to admit they cannot uh, estimate when this ambitious project will be completed. The success of the project is vital. The Enterprise is more than a test bed for the latest experimental propulsion and weapons technology, but a symbol of hope and dreams for humanity. We're going to be accelerating this. Um, I, I, I know that some of you say, how can you misread stuff like that? Uh, it's just English. I'm not a native English speaker. I'm not. So, like I said, bear with me. Uh, we've got enough jobs over here. This is from the propulsion. Let's go for high energy. I, I hope that's more for speed. Let's take a quick look. So our building outpost per, uh, cost has been changed. I do like to get the civilian transport complex. It does do something for immigration and migration. As well as amenities. Hardening fields. That's going into force fields. Optical computer. Let's go for force fields actually. Let's get rid of you. What is this? So, next day's propulsion. Um, shuttles. I don't know. I don't think this is going to help us that much. Um, power station. It costs a... What's that? Padium. Of course it's Padium, but I don't have that resource. Are we able to make that stuff then? No, look, it's actually costing, costing, costing. I would like to do it, but I just simply do not have that research or that. I don't think it's in here either. Right? No. It's kind of bad. Let's go for the Tyranium hull then. It's, uh, I think that's the smartest of decisions for now. Yeah, you can be upgraded. Do we actually want that? Not really. Could we please, please find something that we could have it at? I would really like to have a few planets. That would be nice. Federation, the United Earth. Federation of planets and Earth having none of it. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I hope you are enjoying yourself. Um, leave a like if you're enjoying this type of content, like I said earlier on. And I'll see you for episode 2. Goodbye.